We have marched by the millions in Washington, held conferences in Rio in 92, Cairo in 94, Beijing in 95. We've generated enough human energy to address our toughest problems, unsustainable development, sexism, racism, poverty, destruction of our environment, war. One global community working together to create a better world. What happened? George Bush cares about women. He says so all the time. Let's take a look at how his concern for women plays out in the world. On his second day in office, President George W. Bush reinstated the Mexico City policy, also known as the Global Gag Group, a set of restrictions that prohibits overseas NGOs from providing abortion-related services, even counseling or referrals with their own separate funds. In order to receive U.S. family planning funds, organizations must give up their free speech rights by promising not to engage in political advocacy on abortion, even in countries like Zambia, where abortion is legal. So in one breath, the U.S. is telling my government to promote human rights, good governance. In the other breath, it's saying, can you take away the rights of women to know about all the issues that surround their reproductive health, and one of them will be abortion anyway. A woman has already had 10 children, she's pregnant, and she says, I'm not going to have this child. And in the village where there are no facilities, a woman will pick up a root. For instance, they pick up a cassava stick, which has got white sap, and that sap is very, very poisonous. She inserts it in her vagina, she has an abortion, and inadvertently dies. What have you achieved? Ten orphans down the line. It would be better to help that woman not even be pregnant at all if she has facilities to family planning. Ironically, the global gag rule may actually contribute to an increase in abortion by forcing clinic closures and reducing women's access to contraception. If they know it to be wrong, they understand it to be wrong, and they nevertheless do it, then they would be sinners. If in the conjugal union the possibility of conceiving a child is artificially eliminated, the couple has closed themselves to God and opposed His will.